I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about improper integrals. In problem number 29, we'd like to find the volume of the object generated when the region bounded by f of x equals x to the minus 2 and the x-axis from 1 to infinity is revolved about the x-axis. Okay, so the first thing I'd like to do here is let's start by uh, just drawing a picture and getting a feel for what we're doing here. So uh, here's my xy axis and f of x equals x to the minus 2. Well, if x is 1, which is an important point here, this thing is 1. So at 1, this is 1. And as this number gets bigger, then f of x gets smaller. And it's, it's still positive, but it's going down towards 0. So the region we're talking about here looks something like this. All right, we want to take that region, spin it around the x-axis. When we do, we get kind of this horn shape where the horn sort of goes out towards positive infinity. So what we really want here is we want to know what's the volume of this horn shape that goes on infinitely far towards positive infinity. All right. So uh, let's set up this integral. First of all, I can see if I chopped this thing up into pieces, every piece that I would chop has the cross section of a disk. So I want to use the disk method. So if I wanted to integrate this, I'm integrating from one to infinity of what? Well, it's the disk method, so I use pi r squared. So it's pi times the radius, but in this case the radius of this disk is just the functional value. The functional value is x to the negative 2. So I get x to the negative 2 squared dx. So I have integral of pi r squared dx and we're set up to go. Okay. First thing I see here, it's an improper integral, so I should write it as a limit. So let's do that. So I have the limit as b goes to infinity of the integral from 1 to b of pi times, well, another way of writing this, this is x to the minus 2 squared. That's x to the minus 4 dx. All right, let's take an antiderivative here. Um, I still have my limit as b goes to infinity, sitting out front. The antiderivative of x to the minus 4 is x to the minus 3 divided by negative 3. So the way I could write that is this is negative pi over 3, because I needed to divide by negative 3, x to the negative 3. So if x to the negative 3 is an x cubed on the bottom, and that's going to be evaluated from 1 to b. Let's plug things in. If I plug in b, I get, I still have my limit, b goes to infinity of, plug in b and I get negative pi over 3 b cubed minus, now I plug in 1. If I plug in 1 for x here, I just get minus pi over 3. Minus pi over 3. <clears throat> now I'm ready to take the limit as b goes to infinity. As b goes to infinity, this thing gets huge on the bottom. When the bottom gets huge, the fraction gets tiny, so this whole fraction is going to zero as b goes to infinity. And so what am I left with? Just this term over here. I've got a minus minus pi over 3. Minus minus pi over 3, otherwise known as pi over 3, and we are done. <clears throat> 